guys! I'd like to share with you how I made this unique extra storage unit for myself using waste items that I had at home. I'm starting off with four empty cereal boxes and cutting them into the desired shape that I want to use for the project. This will do just fine and I did this for the remaining three. I kept that aside and then I took boxes that I have at home and I used four similar empty boxes and then I'm going to be cutting out this longer sides. And I did this for all four boxes. I'm going to join all four boxes together and I will start with two at a time. I'll use a regular stapler to hold it together. And then I'm going to use a heavy duty stapler to hold it together at the back and at the sides. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I will glue the flaps on the inside just to keep it in place. I repeated the same thing that I did for these boxes for the other two boxes. And now I'm going to glue both four boxes together using a hot glue gun. And now I'm going to add duct tape at the back. I took the cereal box that has been cut out to measure where I want it to be inside all of the boxes and then marked it. Now this will let me know how short the flaps of all of the boxes should be. After doing that, I cut off all of the excess with a pair of scissors. To give the boxes extra stability, I'll be using this wood that was thrown away by someone who apparently had it coupled for a particular item and I guess they got tired of the furniture and decided to throw the pieces away. I cut it into the height that I wanted for the project and these are very light in weight. You can tell by the way that I'm holding it that it's not heavy at all. I will attach the wood by the sides using a hot glue gun and screws. I used two with one on both sides and then I decided to use a foam board to complete it but I didn't like the way it turned out so I decided to remove the foam board and replace it with another wood and use two of the same wood for the top. Now I'm going to join the wood at the top with the one at the bottom using screws. This is what we have, and then I spray painted it silver. This is the spray paint that I used, and now I'm going to be painting inside all of the boxes white. And now I'll be using an old foam board to cut out pieces that I will be using to put in the inside and spray paint them silver. I'll be putting these boards inside all of the boxes using a hot glue gun. I cut out more pieces from a foam board and spray painted them silver and that's what I'm going to be using to cover the flaps. And now to make sure that the flaps stay in place, I'll be using Velcro fasteners. I got this from Walmart. It comes in a pair, so I'm going to have one at the top where the flap is. 
and the surface that the flap is going to touch. They come with sticky pads, but I'm going to install them using a hot glue gun just to make sure that they stay in place. Here I'm adding both of the fasteners together and then putting a dab of glue on top of the surface of the last one and placing the flap on top of it. And now the cereal boxes that I had cut out earlier, I will be removing the top part. This is so that I can have a much easier access to the items that I'll be putting inside. I painted the sides along with the inside white. And then I took a board and cut it to the size that I wanted and I spray painted it silver and marked two points there to help me when I'll be gluing the cereal box to the board. I did this for all four cereal boxes that have been cut out. For the flaps alone, I'm going to be covering up the rough edges with tape. Now for the design in the middle, I'll be using a compass. And starting off with two inches first for the round circle and then followed by another extension of another circle with two inches apart and two inches apart again for the third circle and then two inches apart again for the fourth circle. I wanted a fifth circle, so I used a longer pencil to achieve that. I'll be using the mirror mosaic tiles to decorate it and the link for this mirror mosaic tiles will be in the description box below. They do have something similar to this in the Dollar Tree so you can use that as well. I cut it to singular strips to make it easy for me to trace out all of the circles. When I got to a part that had an opening, I would cut it before I continue. I want the design to look similar to this face that I made some time ago and the link for this face will be in the description box below. Now these are the large gems that I got from Walmart and they will be glued in the middle of all of the circles. And I'm also going to be using the smaller gems and gluing them at the top and at the bottom of the larger gems. All of the gems were already on a glue strip which made it super easy to use. These are ornaments that I got during the Christmas season and that's what I'm going to be using for the knobs. Since I used a foam board, I'm going to be making deep holes using an X-Acto knife and then putting in a lot of E6000 glue and then placing the knob inside and leaving it for some hours to dry. This is what the top of the storage looks like. So I covered it up with mirrors that I got from the Dollar Tree and one inch square mirrors at the side. Because I got my inspiration for this design from my vase, I placed a round vase on top of it. I forgot to mention that the nail heads and the wood showing by the side were covered up with gems. This is a storage that I made for myself for little itty bit of things to be put away neatly. Now if you want an open space to store some of the items, you can use drawer organizers. I got these from the Dollar Tree and I got four of them and this is how they look 
if they're being used instead of the cereal boxes. I made a nightstand using shoe boxes some time ago and the link for this video is going to be in the description box below and also at the top right. I put it side by side with what I just made so that we can have a view of some of the few DIYs that I made with empty boxes. Now I have a storage that I can use for most of my little items that I have at home. I hope you guys like this idea and remember to share this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on that subscribe button.